So the takeaways from if example.c is that conditional logic like if statements turns into JCC jump condition code type jumps, where it says, if this condition is true, I shall jump to the address specified. If not, I will fall through and just go to the next assembly instruction. But here you can see that it'll eventually run into this unconditional jump, which will bounce it down towards the end of the function. Very frequently, when you see checks that are involving equality or inequality, such as we have here, that's going to turn into a compare instruction. And compare, again, is just a sub-instruction where you throw away the result. So it's going to take this, it's going to subtract that, but then it's not going to store it back into memory. It's just going to set the flags and throw the result away. And after it set those flags, it's ultimately the R flags register, which these conditional jump instructions are checking for whether or not they're going to take the jump. Okay, so we just picked up two quote unquote new assembly instructions, the family of JCC and compare. So where does JCC show up on the pie chart? Multiple places, we've got at 1% JS jump sign, so I said, Sign bit is one of the bits I want you to care about. That's if the most significant bit of result is one, then the sign flag will be set. And jump not zero and jump zero. So the zero flag jumps if it's zero flag is not set to one and jumps if zero flag is set to one. So you can see even just statistically, like my intuition from my personal experience of sign and zero flag are the things that I really care about most of the time, kind of uh, reflected here in the fact that these assembly instructions dealing with sign and zero flags are some of the most common. Then we also have compare coming in at 5% of the code because typically there's gonna be compares right before these conditional jump instructions.